Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of July the 10th through the 16th of 2017. This week, we will have a full moon in Capricorn. Before I continue, I want to mention uh, some of the changes that I have made in recent weeks that I was asked to make so that everyone is aware of them. The, there are a number of you who follow me on Patreon already, who have a monthly subscription to my extra tarot guidances, which are very in-depth by sign, by planet, etc. But I've also been asked to put them up on YouTube so that if you just want to see one and you're curious what's going on, you can check it out that way. And there, you know, you just have to pay for the individual uh, video. Also, I was asked to put up a donation button and that's available in the free videos that are on YouTube. And it's also accessible and probably easier to use if you access it through my blog post that come through email, Facebook, etc. Because many people have a lot of questions and I am very close to proclaiming it eclipse season, which will be starting within the next week or two. And we'll talk more about that. There is so much that's going on in the month of August, but let's talk about this week, shall we? Because you have already entered your change. And when I say your change, I'm referring to that big transition of your life. Some of you have accomplished some little things that were on the list so far, but you have some big things that are still left and you're continuing to pro progress forward. What I notice here, you know, is that, you know, we're getting near those last days of cancer and that, you know, emotion is more intensified that, you know, home, family, all of those types of things. And, you know, it's a feel good energy, to be honest with you. It's a nice feeling. I think that you're beginning to notice more of the positives that are coming into your life at this time. And you're also seeing your focus intensify toward your hopes and dreams and even some financial aspects, okay, that you've been working on, but you've been plodding along slowly. And this is a good thing, all right? This is a very important transition. Um, I've said this how many times? I don't care how long you've been on this planet. This is one transition you will long remember because when you've completed it, you will be in a whole new space. And that's what you're working on. You're working on moving on. You're working on finding that new territory. And I'm loving this cancer energy that's around this week because, you know, it's bringing in a much needed balance of emotion. I, I, I like to call it generosity of spirit. I know you've heard me say that a few times, you know, just when you feel good. I always picture um, Gene Kelly, okay, for one. There's many visions that come in my head that way, but like Gene Kelly singing you know, dancing in the rain or whatever it is, singing in the rain, I'm sorry. But the the thing is, is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's raining. It doesn't matter if it's pouring. Something feels really, really good. And you're looking forward to that, you know, moving along. And when you have that generosity of spirit, you tend to, like, it shows. It shows on your face. It shows in your demeanor. And I think that you're kinder to many that you meet, okay? Total strangers will notice it and they'll say, wow, what a great guy, what a nice woman, you know, that type of thing. So that's the kind of energy that's going around. And you might not even have recognized this change in yourself, but it's there. It is definitely there. I have to admit, I have seen a few people who start like when you have a new moon and a full moon, they get that little edge and hmm, sometimes I think we just need to avoid them, right? Because we have full moon coming up this week and we talk about this all the time, you know, that watching what you say. And I'm, I'm looking here, I'm trying to see if we even have that right in our faces and I don't see it to be honest with you, which is good. So that tells me, like I said, that you're feeling pretty good this week. So if there is an issue, I don't think it's going to be you throwing out those little barbs of sarcasm or hurtful words. As a matter of fact, you're really working on 
firming up your commitments, you know, and it's, it's a number of them. It's like everything that matters right now. Okay. Commitments to yourself, commitments to those who are close to you, uh, commitments to your financial structure, you know, that independence that you need to achieve with stability. Okay. There's a lot here that has to do with stability this week. And I do think that business minded Capricorn will have you doing just that, getting down to business, standing up for yourself, making sure that your financial structure is as good as it can be at the moment. And if you're not certain, it may be important to meet with someone who can give you special guidance in that area. You know, whether it's your accountant or a financial planner, whatever, there might be someone, it just looks like you, you need someone to talk to. Even if it's just a family member and you're like, you know, I'm thinking of doing this and this and hoping it makes things better. You know, a trusted confidant even, somebody that you can talk about it with, what it is you want to do. But the one thing that you don't want to do it for yourself or even anyone with whom you speak is to be so rigid in your outlook that you're preventing yourself from moving forward. That feels like a big, big caution this week. You know, don't think that you have it all figured out on your own because from all appearances, you do not. And you know, you, you need to be more open and flexible to the ways of the universe. It just feels like there's this, it's almost like you could be a roadblock to yourself. It could be that there's another individual who stands in your way as well, but it's more likely that this is coming from you and you're sitting there wondering why you feel trapped by it all. It's of your own doing. Okay, so, and here we go. Your plan for freedom, right? Because you just so want to break out this year. You're tired of everything that has happened, everything that has gone on, and you're really looking forward to that new life. But a new life means new plans, a whole new agenda, and new choices. And, you know, the temptation is there hmm, to really make the wrong ones sometimes. Yeah. And that's where that careful review is necessary. Because things really want to move along this week. All right. There's a lot of developments. They're going to continue. But there's also... The universe is very adamant this week saying that you need a time out. You need a time out to think this over. I mentioned choices. Choices tend to have patterns and whether you realize it or not, you very often repeat them. And when you repeat them, you wind up with the same results. And this time around, I know for a fact, you are looking for different results. You are looking for an entirely new life. I see it over here. It's, it's, you know, it's what's coming in the future that you're trying to create. So yeah, whatever needs be, look to see when there's, um, you know, downtime in your neck of the woods. See when the moon is void, of course, or whatever. Don't make any big plans for that point in time. And if it falls at a time when you don't have to work, just chill, just be, you never know. Don't act upon anything at that time, but allow yourself to just think. You know, just think, just be, there's relaxation here. So if there happens to be a long enough void that you can take advantage of, I would do so, okay? And when it's over, I think that you will have the clarity that you need because the universe says so. It says so. See, it's, it's time. It's time to separate and it's really time to figure out um, what you're doing. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. You are, without a doubt, ready to stand up for what you believe in. You know, to fight for what is right. I, the, it's, I can't make this stuff up, all right? And what is right, it's not just what makes you happy, but it's what's fair. There have been a good five years that haven't been fair. And it's time. It's time to manifest. It's time to create. That new life is on the horizon. It is definitely coming. Now, you're probably saying, okay, but why not now? Why not now? Uh, we have too much change yet to go through, okay? You're, you're really just sort of, hmm, right now, not quite halfway through it, okay? It's already started, but you're not there yet. So figure sometime in September, you're going to realize, you know, 
where you're headed and where you no longer are that type of thing because the balance does start to come in and i think that your your focus improves greatly and it's improving now which i really truly think is a good thing because that helps you there there's that tendency toward i mean it could be anything you know things that you haven't been able to break bad habits sometimes bad habits hold you back and you're you might be looking at them going well yeah if i could just do this if i could stop smoking i'd be so much healthier because even health is a part of it here you know you're just working toward like this new you wants to be the best you that you can be so imagine that like the sky's the limit here you can create whatever it is that you wish to create for yourself it is up to you what do you want to break free from and it's really like a break and free once and for all type of thing it could be relationships could be situations there's just so much but every once in a while you know doubt creeps in because you're you're kind of like show me all right the universe has shown you but sometimes you start to wonder is all this change really going to take place is it really going to happen it might really if i'm halfway there if i'm almost halfway there what's it going to be like when i get there and you spend all your time thinking and worrying and making up scenarios in your head that are doing nothing but counteracting a productive night's sleep to be honest with you so you just need to get that part together and need i say there's always post before the full moon after the full moon you know people commenting about how they feel and they think it's unusual and i've said this before keep a little journal for yourself even a, a daily one see what sign the moon is in whether there's a full moon or a new moon or just a plain old moon okay see what the moon is doing and follow that moon calendar and see what kind of a day you're having so you'll come to recognize that you know it's like things that go bump in the night there's nothing there all right it's just each of us has our own individual reaction to you know the energies of the moon and i think that this will serve to keep you much more grounded because I, I do see it in people, you know, I am in contact with many, many people all day, every day. And whether they realize it or not, their behavioral patterns around the time of new moons and full moons changes. And there's also, you know, certain moons. Let's say if the moon is in Pisces, that's one I don't do well with. And my moon is in Pisces, but it's you know like yeah we're at it's like we're at the end of all the energy then it jumps into aries and you feel really good so keep track of that and i think that you'll find that you get through it much better day by day now i'm sorry i digressed but it feels necessary to remind everyone of this because i see you like feeling like you're so close you know like clawing your way to the top i'm almost there you're almost i mean it's that's it it's like you are taking control and you are ready to grab those reins and be back on track now the control is over the past and it's directly connected to your free will in other words really what is happening now even though the universe is providing you what you need what happens is entirely up to you all right sometimes people need to be reminded that in the tarot there is free will and that the outcome of the situation is directly related to the choices that you make but if you are really reviewing your choice patterns this week and your habits and saying that's it you will that's probably what you're separating from is that you're man managing to eliminate a bad habit or working on separating yourself from a bad habit where you're finally in control of the situation and this is a big deal okay because as i said it has held you back in some respect and you're going to know it you're going to feel it you know your intuition is going to tell you that but this is wow let me talk about taking charge and moving forward you're 
in an amazing time where you are not only experiencing a rebirth that's coming in your life, but there's almost this absolving or washing away of past disappointments. So what is worth something to you, you're you're like you're 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 taking it with you. All right? And that's a given. All right? You know what matters now. This is a this like I said, this is a big deal this week. Where you are, how you feel, and what you're working on. A lot of it appears to be internal, but also geared towards your external world. You're putting an end to struggles and you're putting an end to at least one stressful situation in your life. It's taken an insurmountable amount of patience to overcome it. That is really something. But you know, it's, it's done in a quiet way. I don't know how else to explain that. It's done in a quiet way because it doesn't appear to be something that, you know, you come barging through the door and announcing, I'm going to do this. No, it's not like that at all. You're just very calmly moving along and making things happen. And when there's an internal change, there's an external change to go with it. So progress is definitely still part of it. The transition continues and it's an amazing thing. You know, if I had to guess, I'd say that transition wise, hmm, you've got Pluto still retrograde, Saturn still retrograde. And uh, yeah, what's the other one? Somebody say it. Oh, I know. It. But anyway, that that's the thing. They're going along and you've got one goes direct in August and then oh Neptune was the one I was trying to say and one goes direct at the end of September and then Neptune on November 22nd so by the time you have completed all of that you are in this new spot I'm telling you <laughs> it's you are going to be amazed because if you sit there and you review what you've been doing now, now matters so much more than you can possibly realize. I, you have no idea because the work that you put in now, those efforts are going to be rewarded and you're going to be sitting pretty in a number of ways by November where, you know, late November, really, where you're saying, wow, look at what my life has become and look at how much it has changed. But it already started. I can't say to you, it starts here this week. This week, it continues. The work is still here. The choices are still here. And it's entirely up to you to make it happen. So pay attention because the universe is definitely giving you what you need to move along. And when we come back, hmm, I'm going to say more so in two weeks. We're going to have a lot to talk about. We're going to have things to talk about next week too. But start looking for the extra guidances to be available because this is a powerful time and you don't want to miss a moment. All right. I am really serious. This is one of the biggest years, one of the biggest deals to come along in a long time. And when we have the total solar eclipse on August 21st, it's not just all about the eclipse. All right, you know, we'll be in the middle of a Mercury retrograde and Uranus will also be a very strong player at that time. So everything is up for grabs. Everything is up for change. So do your work now. I want to thank you all very much for being here. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon and YouTube and follow me on Facebook and wherever else you may like. Take care.